Hi, I'm Karen Hodgins, creator of Nifty Numbers Family Math Night, and in this video, I'm going to share with you three ways to develop number sense in your preschooler or kindergartner. Now, the first activity deals with getting kids to um, understand and become familiar with more than or less than a given number. And here is um, the sheet that they will be using. Now, the PDF for this can be found on our website at familymathnight.com under the math resources section. Okay, so what you're gonna do is choose a number that your child is um, becoming familiar with, and you're gonna write that number, or they're gonna write that number right here where it says my number is. And then there are three circles here, and you're gonna read these to them. Here are less than, and it's going, they're gonna write that number again down here. Here are less than, let's say they're working with the number five, so they would write five there. Here are exactly five, and here are more than five. And I'm going to share with you one that I did recently recently with a group of kindergartners and uh, her number was eight and so what she did then is um, she needed to show me less than eight, exactly eight, and more than eight. And I use these fun little um, foamy um, uh, creatures that you can peel off the back and easily stick on. Um, in fact, you can get those at, at any craft store, but you can also use um, stickers, work really well, and I've also used um, rubber stamps, okay, um, and, and they work great too, okay. So more than, less than, becoming familiar with the um, eightness of eight, if you will. Okay, the second activity um, has to deal with um, missing add-ins. So very super simple, easy way to do that. I'm gonna use these uh, ginger kid chips. I'll show you a little bit more about them in just a second. But So you just choose um, some small objects, and I've got some ginger kid chips here, and I'm gonna take one, two, three, four of them. And you count them with your child, one, two, three, four. And then you hide some in one hand. Actually, you, you split them up and you hide them in both hands and you open up one hand. And if there's one in this hand, then how many are in this hand? And then they would need to do a little bit of mental math or you could have some beans and, and help them figure out that problem. And then they would see that their answer is there three. So one plus three equals four. Now, um, a super fun way to do that missing item problem is actually to use our ginger house um, uh, a game board and that's what these ginger uh, kid chips go uh, with and then you would write the number that you're working up here with the dry erase marker and then you would hide those inside here and um, then you would close up the house and they would open up the downstairs and again if they saw that one that I had in my hand then they would need to guess how many were hiding upstairs um, and then they love to open it up and see if they were correct. So super fun. And you can find this on our website, familymethod.com. Okay, and then the third um, way to develop number sense in your kids is um, by doing an activity that uses subitizing. Now, subitizing is simply um, looking um, at a group of objects and very uh, being able to very quickly um, figure out how many there are all together. So for example, I'm going to show you um, some patterns uh, in dots here very quickly and then you see if you can figure out how many there are all together. Okay, now we're very familiar with that pattern, right? That's number five. You see that on a, on, on a die a lot or on dominoes. And so kids are familiar with that, but this is a great activity. They like to do it, especially if you kind of play it up a little bit and go, you ready on your marks, get set, boop. You know, um, you're going to show it, you're going to hold it, um, long enough so that you know that they can figure out um, what that is. And you're gonna get faster as time goes on, but that would be the number five. And then of course, you say, okay, ready for the next one? And then you do the next one and so forth. Now, if you're doing this in the classroom, I love to have students um, using the whiteboards. And so um, I would very quickly turn this over and then they would write how many dots they saw all together. Then, then I would have them show me um, and I can very quickly see which students are getting it and which uh, students I need to work with a little bit more on that. Okay, but this is helping them develop the fiveness of five, if you will. So there you have it. Three very simple, um, very fun activities to do with kids that really do develop um, their sense of numbers, which is so important. A great foundation for um, being successful in mathematics. So have fun.